The main aim of the project was to co-design with residents a community vision for the improvement, for the regeneration of their neighbourhood. The Elton Estate is a housing estate in Wandsworth, in the London Borough of Wandsworth. And at that time, back in 2020, the London Borough of Wandsworth was intending to demolish the housing estate and redevelop it. In this project, I worked in partnership with Alton Action, which is a resident-led campaign community group in, in the Alton Estate. I also work with the network of community organisations Just Space, a London-wide network of community groups. Alton Action contacted my colleague Daniel Fitzpatrick and I to work in collaboration in coming up with an alternative plan that would involve the demolition but would look at other forms of regeneration that are more environmentally and socially sustainable. <laughs> I think that's one of the key challenges, particularly because at universities, uh, I mean, we researchers are in a, in a paid uh, job, whereas volunteers rely a lot in volunteer work. So that's something that we always need to take into account and, and value the time of communities. And one needs to make sure that the outputs of the research are something that will benefit the community group. I think in this case the output was very clear that it was going to have a benefit but sometimes you need to create compromises and you might be producing one output that would have a more academic benefit and then one output that will have a more clear benefit for, for the community. So that's something that is important to balance. And then another key challenge I think is the consultation of fatigue that residents in these housing estates have. I remember one of the residents was telling me that that has seen like six regeneration programs going through the states and six processes of consultation. So in a way, residents could see these as like another one that was not even done by the local authority, so it wouldn't even have an effect because it was just an academic project. So there was also another challenge. A link to that is also about the expectations that an academic project can have on, on this residence. So in a way for us, it was very clear that we needed to tell them what was going to be the output of the project. This is not something that is going to be built as such, but it's for you to co-produce a community vision that then you can show to the local authority and say, we would like something like this. It doesn't mean that they're going to build it like that, but it may influence their decision. <laughs> My key advice is kind of like on building that relationship with the community group. I think it's very important. I mean, you need to, you need to make sure that there's going to be a, um, an interest and they're going to put time on the project. And you need to see what are you going to give them for this time. Are you going to give them, I don't know, it could be a money compensation. It could be that you're going to give them a, a research output that, that they're really interested on. It could be that you're giving a combination of both. Uh, but you need to make sure that there's going to be an implication from the community group for the project to, to function. Uh, I think in this case there was a very high implication from the community group, from Alton Action, in, in, in this project. But I've also been in other projects where um, you think at the beginning that the community are going to be very involved, but then when the project starts, um, you struggle with that. And I think that's some, that's, that can be one of the key challenges too. Thank you.